A network is a group of devices that are connected together that can communicate with each other. We say device because a network can contain personal computers like desktops and laptops, peripherals like printers, servers, and networking devices like routers, all of which need to be able to talk to each other. A local area network, or LAN, is a network where all the devices are in the same geographically close location, for example within a single building or within a group of buildings. Your school or college might have several buildings, but all the computers in each building can communicate with each other as they are all in the same network. A wide area network, or WAN, is a set of computers that are connected over a large geographic area, such as an entire country or the whole world. It can also be a collection of networks connected over a large geographic area. They are connected using some form of transmission medium provided by a third party. It could be radio waves, satellite communication, phone lines or fiber optic cables. The most common and well-known version of a WAN is the internet. A personal area network is used to connect devices within the range of a single person. This allows us to connect our digital devices together such as our personal computer and mobile devices. A common use of a personal area network is to connect a wearable item like a smartwatch or wireless headphones to your smartphone. It can also be used to connect your laptop to your smartphone to use a smartphone's mobile broadband connection. PANs are usually created through the use of a Bluetooth wireless connection or via a USB cable. Networks are used by all businesses because they provide huge benefits that make the business more productive and efficient. However, there are a number of disadvantages too. The advantages of a network are that Peripherals such as printers can be shared within a business between multiple computers which will save the business money. Files can be stored in a central location so that users can access them from any computer connected to the LAN. Important documents can also be shared with all users. We can centrally manage computers which is more efficient. For example, installing software or backing up all of the computers without having to do so manually on each device. The disadvantages of a network are that if a server crashes, then you won't be able to access its resources. For example, if the file server crashes, then you wouldn't be able to access any of your files. Setting up a network can be expensive. You'll require a lot of network equipment like servers, routers and switches, as well as the cabling to connect it all together. There are increased security risks. For example, malware will spread more easily between devices connected together on a network. Also, hackers might be able to gain access to all data on the network by accessing a single device. Maintenance of the network can be complicated and requires specialist skills. This will normally involve hiring staff to maintain the network, which will be an additional cost. So, networks are where two or more devices exchange data with each other. A LAN is a local network where devices are in a close geographical area like a single building. A WAN is a collection of devices or networks that are over a large geographical area. A PAN is a network that connects devices within the range of a single person. Networks are great for sharing access to resources, storing files centrally so they can be accessed flexibly, and for managing devices from one computer. However, you can lose access to resources if a server crashes, they are expensive to set up, there are increased security risks, and maintenance can be complicated.